I, I enlisted uh, in the Navy in World War II. I did it when I was 17. My name's Chad O'Donnell. I served uh, in Iraq for a year. Um, we were actually based in uh, El Nazaria, but we traveled all over. Um, I joined the National Guard in 2000, Army National Guard, um, to pay for college. I served in uh, at Camp Victor Baghdad for a year. I went to basic training, um, Fort Jackson, AIT at Fort Huachuca in Arizona. I went to Ranger School and Airborne School at uh, Fort Benning, Georgia. And then I was stationed in Italy and went to Afghanistan for 16 months and Iraq for four. Another aspect of the GI Bill was uh, education. Uh, when I went, we received our full tuition and uh, I forget what, what the books were included, but tuition and they gave us a $75 a month allowance. Well, that $75 a month was not small change in those days. Um, the educational benefits are the reason I joined and I will say that um, it took a little while to figure out the system and get through all the paperwork and all the applications and everything like that, but they have given me a lot of money towards college. Um, um, the only thing I'm having trouble with on that right now is uh, they have a vocational rehabilitation program and uh, they're saying that I'm not qualified for it because uh, I'm not having enough problems at my current job. Uh, I, I really don't know what, you know, do, do I have to be thrown out of work every day, you know, to be able to qualify for something or, you know, I, I just want to be able to get in there and, and take some of the tests that they have and, and see what I'd be able to, to get. That's, that's all I want. I, I studied physics. I just graduated with a bachelor's in physics and a minor in biochemistry. And uh, uh, I get good medical care. I um, get a, a better checkup than I could get on the outside, probably, and I get it uh, twice a year. Uh, I, um, I I have no, no complaints. So you've done very well by me. I just feel weird going to the VA myself because I have nothing physically wrong with me. You know, I walk in and you got guys in wheelchairs and you know missing an arm, and I, I just I, I I feel I don't belong there. But at the same time, there's nowhere else I can go. It's you know, the VA is the VA is great. I'm worried that a lot of fellows are coming back with disabilities and they're being downgraded in their disability ratings and don't get enough money to, uh, to, to even afford a, a house or a decent apartment. The military looks at it as, it's war. It's shell shock, it'll wear off. And for a lot of people, it doesn't wear off. You know, I came home, it took me nine months before I left my parents' house. Uh, what PTSD is, is it's a, it's a memory that's caught in your head, uh, and it just can't go anywhere. Uh, it's diagnosed as an overactiveness of the brain also, uh, where that memory gets stuck, and it gets, it gets stuck on like a, if you hit repeat on a CD player, and you hear that same song over again, well all you're doing is you're, you're having the same memory over and over and over again. But I'm sure that there are a lot more than actually speak up. You know, because who actually speaks up? Maybe 10, 5, 10 percent of the people that come home actually say, look, I really need help. You know what I mean? The rest of them, they just bottle it up. And that rage just sits in there and it, and it just continues to just fester. And then eventually, people pop. There, there does need to be a follow-up, you know, with the three months, the six months, the year. You know, it, it needs to fall in like that. You know, I, I thought I was fine for a year. And then all of a sudden, you know, everything just came back all at once. And just, I don't know, the VA, like now that I started talking to him and everything, like, you stick with one psychiatrist and then I've been through five different psychiatrists. And it's like, you get to a certain point with one and then it seems like you have to start back at the beginning because you keep having to change psychiatrists. And it just seems like they're so quick to hand you out pills. And it's just, you know, I'm not a big fan of taking pills and all that other stuff just to get over something, you know, you want to do something different besides wake up every morning, take 12 pills and you're good for your day.